This makes for an interesting communications challenge. I was driving home from work in April of 2006, and I was listening to a piece on the radio from NPR, and it was talking about the importance of proper branding, and that M was a bad sound, m, m. It was kind of a, they were saying that L was one of the best sounds and M was one of the worst sounds. So I'm sitting there thinking about the MSBR, the mmm, you know, the molten salt breeder reactor, and I thought, hmm, molten, bad, salt, bad, I thought, how can we fix this? Well, instead of saying molten, we could say liquid, because it is liquid, and liquid turns an M to an L, and according to this, L was a lot better letter than an M. There are a lot of different kind of salts, so if we were more specific on the salt, we could say fluoride, which is a salt. It's a particular kind of salt. Breeder is a kind of generic term, and what we're really doing is we're using thorium as a fuel. So all of a sudden, there it was, LFTR. And one of the things I learned at NASA was you really <laughs> want your acronyms to be sayable. And if they have more than three letters, you want to be able to say them like a word. And it was like it just appeared. It was there it was, LFTR, lifter. You could say it. It was a word. I mean, as a marketing student, I have a lot different approach, but I still get excited. <laughs> hey, you know what? We need guys just like you. Any other marketing students here? I mean, this, you know, there, there's, there's almost a branding effort that needs to happen. How do you tell a story saying this is different. I used to think, uh, when I was y'all's age, um, I was an aerospace engineer, I didn't know anything about nuclear. I thought nuclear power was dumb. I had no interest in it. You know, I was like, oh, old junk. Who would want to be into that? It wasn't until I learned about thorium and I realized these efficiencies were possible that I began getting really interested. Uh, you know, how, uh, don't do new coke, but what do you do? You know, how do you help people understand that there really are alternative possibilities out there? We need guys like you thinking about this. Uh, you can come to one of the conferences, talk to your friends about it, tell people about it. I mean, the biggest problem we have is getting the message out. And a, a guy got on yesterday, he said, you know, why don't we go buy a, a full page ad? And I said, because that costs a lot of money. Why don't you just go tell five of your friends about it? It doesn't cost you anything. And it's probably a whole lot more effective than getting an ad in the newspaper.